I thought I thought it was shaping up to be a good a good spring. Uh, snow was almost gone. Water levels hadn't rise rose that much. Uh, but then all of a sudden. not it always has a uh, certain degree of uh, flooding where it might just touch the road however this year in 2013 there have been extremes if one dam let go the next dam is going to let go and the next dam and the next dam and where does all the water go So tell me, uh, how long have you lived in Huntsville? Well, I've lived here continue. I grew up in the town, but I've lived here continuously since 1980. And uh, um, the flooding that's going on here, uh, um, have you ever seen anything like this? No, people, it's, floods occur to some degree each year. It's just, it's nature. It, 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 can't, be, it, it can't be helped. Right. People who live at low levels know that there's a risk. And, they take that risk. That's my thought. Yeah. Um, there's no angst about that. They know that it happens. They prepare for it. People, generally speaking, are sensible about it. They've got their canoes ready. Uh, my name is Carly Seneschal. I mean, Carly Zanelli. I'm from Bracebridge, Ontario. Uh, how long have you lived here, Carly? Um, well, I was born and raised here. For, um, in the past... 10 years, the water levels have just been crazy. I have, like I said, I have friends who live on either side of um, the river there on Muskoka River, so River Road, that it's all underwater. I said, whoa, they have no access to their house, their driveway, their yards, everything's underwater. Like. We had that well, they said it was like 38 millimeters of rain there. And, uh, okay, well, it wasn't too bad. Then all of a sudden, everything took off. It's stressful. I mean, and you go through, you know, like, I've been devastated several times throughout my childhood. Oh, no, all my, uh, you know, my... Christmas decorations that I made throughout my childhood have all been destroyed by floods and, you know, um, photo albums and stuff from when we were younger. Excuse me, two days ago, the, uh, the water seemed to shoot up about two inches, two and a half inches, just in a matter of minutes. Just below this area below the dam here right on one side you've got big rocks coming up on the side this way on the other side it's a sandy shoal right. shoreline right and you've got a lot of tall trees and stuff down in there stuff like this right and uh, that's all going to be washing away Ron, I've lived on this road about 12 years, known the area my whole life. In the last, let's say 15, 20 years, ex very mild winters and also very hard winters, so I'm not sure what to expect at this point. But yeah, these extremes happen. And like yeah. I said, I'm more, I'm more concerned for my neighbors.